Bob. <laughs> you know, I have, first of all, I want to say, hi, Bob. That's very important for yeah, me. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> And then I, uh, I, I was just looking at the cover of the, um, of the DVD box, yeah. and you're wearing the same jacket, Bob. <laughs> Are you? No, this that's, is a... Yeah, that's it, because I, I have another one, and I could have worn that, you know, but... Yeah. No, it's all right. This is the, this is the, this is the series when you were the psychotherapist. Yeah. Not the Innkeeper series? No, no, no. All right, no. that's coming out later? That was, see, uh, the Innkeeper was Newhart. This is... Oh, that's the Bob, Bob Newhart show. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> Man. All right, Do you, did you insist on calling the shows after your name, or was that the network? No, I, no, I insisted on it, because... <laughs> No, because I didn't want to get lost, you know? I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be the, the Fred Amsterdam show. Yeah. Fred Amsterdam, sadly... Yeah, I know, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> now, you, of course, uh, are good friends with uh, Don Rickles, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, I, I haven't seen Rickles for, for a while. I think he's not speaking to me. <laughs> Well, you just had that big thing on Spike. Yeah, yeah, the big, uh, the big, like a big tribute you event. To you, you did a, you said you were on tape, right? Oh, was I? Oh, well, then that's fine. No. <laughs> were you there? No, I wasn't there. I had, to, I was in Seattle with, uh, and, but I, I did a thing. That, that they a taped thing. A tape, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all right. Because you, you and Rickles have been friends for since well a long time ago. Really, well, I don't want to say maybe the fifties. No, no, no. I, I, no, the, I, the I, would, I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known anybody in the fifties. So, because the fir uh, the first record I made in 1960. So really, that, yeah. I um, because I used to. It used to be when you were on an airplane, the only thing you could hear on an airplane was your comedy albums. Because you know it was. I've heard them a lot, Bob. Yes. <laughs> Introducing tobacco to civilization, That's I've heard that so many damn road, times. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard it more than you. <laughs> you, I, you know, I did a command performance one time. But for the royal family? Yeah, for the royal family in 1964. Uh, I, was in, I was doing a show in New York with uh, Carol Burnett, uh, Katerina Valenti, John Davidson, and I was invited to do the command performance. And I did the, uh, they wanted me to do uh, the driving instructor. Right. You know, so, and uh, you can see how familiar they are. <laughs> no, you know what happened? One guy did this, one guy went, and then went. <laughs> <laughs> they all looked at yeah, him. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, stop it. Bob's talking. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, I did this, the, this routine on the driving instructor. I'm, in, I'm instructing this woman how to drive. So, I, I sit down and I'm going, uh, Oh, Mrs. Webb, I notice you've had one listen to her already, and none I realize. Wait a minute, you're in London. Mrs. Webb's over here. <laughs> oh, I notice you've had one listen to her. <laughs> Good. And was it the was it the Queen that was the there? The Queen was there. Did you yeah. meet her afterwards? Oh, well, yeah, you meet her on the stairs. Have you met her? No. Oh. Are you kidding me, Bob? <laughs> No, man, I, I've done too many queen jokes here. Oh, <laughs> It's the same one, though, the same queen. The same joke as well. What? <laughs> same queen, though, yeah. She was there for a long I time. Mean, it, it was, it was uh, odd because, you know, you're used to a certain rhythm, you know, when you've done a routine after a while. But there was like a pause. Like I would say, you know, when I'd get to a, a joke and then there'd be a pause and then there'd be laughter and then there'd be pause and then be a laughter. And I realized what was happening was the audience was sitting and then they'd look at the royal box and if she was laughing, then they'd start laughing. So, <laughs> so there was... Oh, okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah, really. It's what yeah. people do with a warm-up comedian here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, so you met her afterwards, but she's like, very nice to meet you, Mr. Newhall. Yes, yes, yes. No, she was very nice, and uh, I was thrilled. I never thought I'd, I'd meet a queen, you know. <laughs> if you're going to leave low-hanging fruit like that hanging around, <laughs> come on, Bob. <laughs> 
So uh, you know the the, drink, the high bob drinking game. I played that a lot. Everybody used to play high bob. I didn't know it was international. I didn't. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, in Scotland, uh, the rules are you don't. Uh, the, your show doesn't actually have to be on. Oh. <laughs> you, just, you go out to the bar, you shout hi Bob, and just start drinking. Okay. Uh, okay. Slightly different rules. Yeah, people used to do it. They did it with all the shows. Right? Did you know about it when you were making the show? No, I found I found out after after the show went off. It was on six years, and uh, and and then I found out. I I heard it started at the Southern Methodist University. I hope it did. Right. It, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and uh, I mean, they liked the show. Sure. It was a compliment to the show. Absolutely. It's a great show. One of the greatest sitcoms ever. Maybe, you know, that and uh, Mary's show. That's it. The other two. I mean, you can hear. <laughs> when, did, when did this go off the air? When did this go off the air? Yeah, this is no, like. 1978. It so went off there in 78, and you hear there's like most of these people were born in 1978. I am being so nice to you right now. <laughs> and yet they still, because it's, it's, a, it's a classic piece of work. Were you aware of it at the time? Were you aware of what you were doing? Was Well, it, we were part of that, that lineup. Um, it was all in the family. It was Saturday night on CBS. Uh, all in the family, MASH, Mary Tyler Moore, us, and Carl Burnett. That's a pretty strong lineup. I think CBS would be pretty happy to have that ring right now. <laughs> what are you going to do? You should maybe come back and do CSI Bob Newhart. <laughs> That would work. Thank you. You, you, could, you could solve a few crimes, have a few laughs. <laughs> I'd enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> Bob Newhart, and um, we're out of time, Bob. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're not really, but you, you and I both tend to take a lot of time to get things done, so I thought if I introduced the we're out of time concept now, yeah. it'll help things along <laughs> when the time arrives. So I should just stay here? Or... <laughs> I, I, I think I speak for everyone watching this show is that they'd prefer if you stayed and I, and I left <laughs> for the rest of the show. <laughs> Might be a good. I mean, this chair's coming up, Bob. You ever think about it? <laughs> Talk show? Why not? Now I filled in for Johnny. I, 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 I'll tell you a story. Uh, I was kind of being groomed. NBC was having uh, one of their arguments with Johnny about salary, and they said that's it. This was like 1970. And they right. said that's it. We're not. He's not getting. You know, he, I think he left in 1990. So. Yeah, yeah. 90, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, th th they were grooming a lot of people. I did it for three weeks in New York. I filled in for Johnny, uh, guest host. And at the end of the three weeks, I was a blithering idiot. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it is... No, no. <laughs> No, it, it is the toughest the job in the world. It's the toughest job in the world, and you did, what, 10 years? More? 10 years, 10, 10 years, yeah. But I only, I only, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> but I get the, uh, I get the blithering idiot thing. And you, do it, you do it for a while, and you just, like, I find myself now talking to people, like, if I'm at a party or something, I'm like, uh-huh, and where did you meet your husband? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> And then, after a while, I just throw to a commercial and leave. Yes. <laughs> Nuts. Bob, it's lovely to see you. I'm very glad that this is coming out in a concise form, that I can purchase it at my local DVD emporium. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to finally meet you. The great Bob Newhart, everybody. Bob. My 
first guest tonight is a comedy legend. Comedy legend, Jeff. He's a say? giant. A I mean, giant. really, Hall of Famer. This is the one. This is the one. Uh, he's performing in uh, Great Falls, Montana, at the Mansfield Theater on November the 13th, and in Richmond, Canada, the magical land of Canada, Canada <laughs> at the River Rock and Casino Resort on the 15th. Please welcome the great Bob Newhart, everybody. <laughs> You're looking good, man. I like I like the way you've put it together. Thank you. Blazer, the slacks. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you still doing stand up uh, at the, in Canada? Yeah, I'm, uh, first Great Falls and then uh, uh, Vancouver. And do you find they understand your accent in Canada? <laughs> Just a boot. <laughs> I didn't know you could speak Canadian. <laughs> Have you ever been up to that, that Red Rock Casino up oh, there? Oh, I've played it many times. Me too. Yeah. It's yeah. fantastic, isn't it? I love the, the Canadian people. They're lovely people. They are very, very they nice are, people. Yeah. But inside, they harbor a deep resentment. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are lovely. So how many stand-up dates do you do in a year, then? I, I'll do uh, 20. What are you going to uh, for? <laughs> I think you're going, oh, like, I don't know if that's a lot or not very many at all. <laughs> it's about medium. It's a lot for me. Yeah, it, it is a lot. Do you, how long of a set do you do when you do the stand-up now? Uh, I'll do an hour and 15. That's perfectly, that's what I do. But, you know, but not as funny, obviously. That I, yeah. <laughs> that I remember, I'll do an hour and 15. Right, right. <laughs> Do you sometimes black out in the act and... Oh, uh, oh yes. Yeah. Do you oh, know, I, do you ever I get... I shouldn't tell the people in Canada, but there's a lot of, oh, God, what comes next? <laughs> please, please, God, what comes next? Is that real or are you just... Oh, I see, I see, yeah. <laughs> no, I... I get, but you can get away with it uh, a little better because your style is relaxed. And I stammer. Right, right. So you could, you could probably build it in. They wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Are you sure? I think you might be gently mocking me, Bob. <laughs> Was that a decision early on? Did you, did you choose a style or did, did the style kind of evolve out of your own personality, do you think? No, I, I always, um, it, it's not a stutter, it, it's a stammer. Right. Which what, is, what's the um, difference? Well, the difference. <laughs> the difference is like a stutter, it's like a letter, like P, 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 P. But Why did you choose P? You see? I, I, you know? And the minute I did, I, I said I should have chosen another letter. <laughs> When you've got to have a P, you've got to have a P. Yeah. <laughs> See, but the stammer, um, it's like a whole word you, you, have, you have trouble with. Oh, I see. see? Like, like when I was, the Bob Newhart show, when we first started, we were doing the pilot, and it was running a little long. And the, uh, the, one of the producers came up to me and said, you know, could you run some of your speeches together, because it's running kind of long. And I said, Lorenzo, I said, this, this stammer has gotten me a home in Beverly Hills, and I'm not, I'm not about to drop it, so you better... <laughs> I think that is a wise decision. That's a wise decision. Do you still, do you, do you watch a lot of the multi, because, I mean, there's not a lot of multi-camera shows on. Uh, TV, you know, the Big Bang Theory, of course, yeah. which uh, you've uh, done uh, a lot of work on. Yeah. And oh, the, uh, this is a great show. Yeah. And uh, Hot in Cleveland, have you done Hot in Cleveland? Yet? I haven't done. No, you got to do Hot in Cleveland. 
That's the that's I can, the only two multi-camera shows that I can think of. Off the top, I'm sure there are others, but that's the only two that I can think of that are wildly yeah, they, successful. I grew up uh, in, I mean, the Bob Newhart show. We we, we all did a three-camera show in front of an audience. Mary Tyler Moore and uh, All in the Family and the Bob Newhart show and Honeymooners. Everybody did it in front of an audience, and uh, I have done it. Without without an audience, it's very sterile. It really is. I mean, yeah, I think it becomes a little more uh, fun for the writers and and producers, though. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think that you know, if you see the show like Modern Family, which is a fantastic uh, comedy, really well done, uh, but it clearly is in you know, yeah. there's a lot going on in in post and and not in front of an audience at all. But they seem to. It doesn't seem to bother me. I I, I was very okay. reticent about them at first, but I think it works pretty well. Could I ask a question? Uh, no. no. <laughs> oh, all right then. Yes. Are, are we ever going to get to the notes? I tore them up. Oh, no. uh, yeah. <laughs> was there anything? Was there anything in particular? <laughs> oh, <all> right. <laughs> Tell me, Bob, I, I can't, you know, live by your rules, man. I, uh... You know what, Johnny Carson used... Now, that's good company. Johnny Carson used to do that to me all the time. He, the, the first question out of the box we had never talked about, it'd be something like, did you ever go skeet shooting? Well, uh, did you? No. Well, why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, clearly you've got a bit of money and, you know, you've got a little free time. You could go out and help America have less skeet. Rid, rid the world of Rid skeet. the world of the, the, skeet. the, frankly, the skeet problem. Uh, what, is, what is skeet? Um, skeet is, it, is, is uh, it's like a, a hockey disc. Oh, it's like the frisbee thing that yeah, you shoot. Yes, yes, yeah, clay pigeons, they yeah, call them. Yeah. I, <laughs> see, the reason... Did you ever shoot a, a, a real pigeon? No. No. Have you ever? Have you? Have you See, got the any? Reason, the reason I never went skate shooting. Yeah. Is is I grew up in Chicago. <laughs> and you don't. I'm you listening. Don't, you don't. You don't go skeet shooting in Chicago. You go. You know, para. <laughs> you scare the hell out of the uh, the, the neighbors. You, know? you, you scared me there when you did That's that para <laughs> noise like that. <laughs> Uh, that was a that was a good noise. Yeah, no, I, I suppose not. Uh, well, do you have any pets? Uh, <laughs> Give me the note. Give me the notes. Yeah, that's not the notes. That's uh, tonight's guest. It's uh, you and Melissa who's on after you. Uh -huh. And then this is uh, next week's guest. Uh, uh, this is the amount of people that have won the golden harmonica. Ah. And uh, then there's some uh, chocolate Don't dollars. See. Anyway, I asked you if you had a pet. You don't have any pets? Yes, I have. Uh, uh, we have a, a, a dog. Dog. <laughs> so you, do, <clears throat> you, don't, you don't have a skeet you don't, then? You don't, give, <laughs> you don't give a damn, do you? I do, I do. I do. I give a damn about you. <laughs> <laughs> my career, my career is ending right here. No, 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 at no, 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 Bob, your career ended not, when you not, agreed to be on this show. Not, yes, I, I should, you're, you're known for it, I no, should, I should have realized. No, Bob, your career is, I mean, you're a Hall of Famer, man, you can't be touched, it's, it's impeccable now, you're fine, Thank you're you. safe, you're home, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> you know what could go wrong? What? Another appearance on this show. Technically, that's going to happen because we'll go for a commercial <laughs> break and we'll be right back with Ron I know, he still was all over the place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're back. So your dog is a princess of some kind. 
It's a mutt, actually. Really? Yes, yes. Do you always have dogs? Uh, no, I had a cat once. Mm. <laughs> I never, I never thought it would end this way. <laughs> Thank you. No, 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 Bob. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> I'll wake no. up. I'll wake up. No, no, it's, I'll wake up. It's, I'll wake it's up. It's fine. Bob. Wake up, Bob. Bob. Wake up. It's fine, Bob. No, I'm still here. <laughs> Just, just, just one, just one, just one more thing. I promise, then this is it. One more thing. What was the cat's name? <laughs> Puddy cat. Puddy cat. Puddy cat. Puddy cat. <laughs> no, I actually had a cat. One time, uh, its name was Morris. Morris? But Morris, Morris had lost an eye and, and a leg. <laughs> and I should have named the cat Sammy, because that's the only other black-eyed, one-eyed cat I knew. <laughs> I don't know. Did you learn anything, man? I, I didn't. I don't think I really learned much other than, you know, always let your conscience, you know. Yeah, something. Yeah, yeah something sure. like that. I'll tell you what we, we should have learned. What's that? Um, who is inside Secretariat? The fake horse. Who's inside there? Yeah, right. Hey, it's the last show. Lift up your head. Let's see who you really are. Hey, guy, it's your dream. 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 